Crime is a turning out to be the biggest talking point in the Fort Wayne mayoral race. Mayor Tom Henry and opponent Tim Smith, each with very different solutions to one of the city's biggest problems. ABC 21's Jeff Newmeyer looks at how the candidates are using statistics and political ads against their opponents. Violent crime, including murder, rape and aggravated assault, is up 17%. Republican challenger Tim Smith's campaign cites FBI uniform crime stats for that claim. Once again, Tim Smith is using misleading numbers to stoke fear about safety. Incumbent Democrat Mayor Tom Henry fires back in his new ad that Fort Wayne's violent crime rate is at its lowest since 1988. While there were 609 violent crimes per 100,000 residents in 1988 and less than 400 in 2018, the number is about 18 percent higher for 2018 compared to 2008 when Henry took office. Henry has increased spending and added police officers to the force on his watch. That's why Fort Wayne has been rated overall as the fifth safest city in the country. That claim comes from an insurance study done in 2012. Smith says that's misleading. Using a study that's seven years old, using a study that references fender benders and hurricanes, Jeff, it's crazy. Henry counters that he's made public safety a focus of his administration. How about citing a 2012 study about how safe the city is? It's true, and it hasn't changed much since then. Uh, our homicides right now are 50% uh, less than they were at this time last year. The mayor clarified that, saying we have half the homicide total for 2018, but we're only 10 months into 2019. There are some crime stats in these ads that the two sides are fighting over, but when you're trying to determine whether they are effective or not, sometimes you have to look at the message behind the message. Anytime you're looking at a dark uh, background, that's scary for people. Political analyst Andy Downs says Smith's ads take on an ominous tone, while Henry's are brighter, more upbeat, trying to put voters at ease about public safety. Voters who see them back to back. Which I'm sure some voters will at some point. They are going to wonder what's going on because they do seem to be describing two different cities. More ads with messages worlds apart almost sure to come into your living room in the lead up to Election Day. Jeff Newmeyer, ABC 21. And Election Day is just under two weeks away on Tuesday, November 5th.